Hi there, how are you? Hi. My name is David. Can I get your name, please? Uh, Benjamin, 137, I can have five. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, what I'm going to have to do today is perform a, an exam on your arms, and it's more specifically about the nerves in your arms. Uh, so, as we go through it, I'll explain what I'm about to do. And before we start, you have any pain? No. Okay, and if you do at any stage, please let me know. Sure. And uh, we'll deal with that. And if you have any questions at the moment? Is it going to hurt? No, it shouldn't hurt at all. If it does, again, like I said, please let me know and we'll talk about it. Sure. Uh, so just before I start the exam, I'm going to make sure to move your top, please, as I will need to just look at the whole of your arms and your shoulders down. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Thank you. Back to sit down. Now then, I'm just going to have, uh, start the exam by having a look at your arms uh, and I'll lift your back. Is that okay with you? Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you very much. So I'm looking for a um, kind of scarring. I do not see it. Your fibromatosis or staring in the end of the end, right? Or if and so there's also then sitting symmetrically in a relaxed posture. And um, there doesn't seem to be any wasting of any of the uh, proximal muscles or the distal muscles. And if I could get just turn over your hands then, there's no uh, muscles, uh, wait, no muscle wasting on the palms of the hands. Okay, and uh, there doesn't seem to be any involuntary movements, no, thus far in the general inspection of Benjamin. I have not noticed any fasciculations either. And and there is no then do not seem to have a trauma. Could you just hold out your hands like this, please? Yeah, there is no sign of any trauma. Hey Benjamin, so just before we do the next part, what I'd like you to do is close your eyes and um, raise your hands uh, out like this with the palms upwards and hold them there. And I'm watching for one of three uh, strings, which are not noted on Benjamin. So that's okay. So the next part, what I'd like you to do, Ben, you can relax again and open your eyes. So just before we begin, what I'd like to do is can you just move your arms around uh, any direction you can and tell me if you have any pain or if it feels restricted. Oh, okay, is it? Oh, fine. Okay, so Benjamin does not know any um, restriction of his range of movement on active movement, so I'm going to test passive tone now with that. Okay, so now Ben, uh, you can relax again and what I'd like you to do is keep your arms really floppy and I'm just going to do some movements if that's okay. Thank you very much. Tone in Benjamin's right arm is either decreased or increased. Tone is wrong. Okay, so uh, Benjamin, what I'm going to do next is just test the power in your fingers. Uh, arms and hands, that's okay with you. And um, so what I'm going to get you to do first is hold out both your hands like this. And what I want you to do is keep your fingers straight and don't move them, okay? That's good. Now what I want you to do is squeeze both of my fingers, yeah, like that. As good as hard as you can. That's good. And now what I want you to do next is splay your fingers like this one and don't move them. That's great. Yeah, your fingers stay like that to me. And then um, just push them in. Push them in. Great. Now what I'm going to do is get you to do the um, gripping paper and knees, if that's okay. So we're going to start with these fingers. Yeah, and just don't let me put it away. Now I want you to do the same on the other side. Now the last thing I want you to do before I move up is just uh, ease this into your finger and thumb and then close. And so now what I want you to do is cock your wrist back. And then don't move it push it down. Move it this way. Then push it down. And then uh, I want you to flex the wrist and don't move it push it down. And now what I want you to do is um, I'm going to support your elbow like this. I want you to just uh, pull in against me. Push out against me. I want you to do the same on this side. 
me. Okay. And now what I want you to do is raise your hands like this. Now I'm going to push down and go on that Okay. And now pull in here. You're pulling your hands in. So Benjamin, what I'm going to test next is just a few kind of hand movements and stuff like that. So I just want you to follow the instructions. So if you put your left hand out for you like this, and then get your right hand and alternate, uh, touching like that, and go as fast as you can here. Great. Now do the opposite with the other hand. So right palm out, and then flip your left hand. That's perfect. Thank you very much. And relax again. And now what I want you to do is uh, touch your nose with your finger, and now touch my finger, and go back and forth between your nose and my finger. And now I want you to close your eyes and touch my finger. That's okay. So now then, uh, if you could do the same with your left hand for me, so touch your nose and then touch my finger. So I'll touch your nose and my finger and keep alternating like that, that's great. Yeah. And now close your eyes. Perfect, that's okay. Okay, so now Benjamin, just the last thing I would like to do in this part of the examination is, uh, after I tell you, I'm going to show you first, so I'm going to get you to close your eyes and then raise your hands up like that as quick as you can. All right. So uh, whenever you're ready, you can do that. All right. Yes, okay. No signs of being wrong. That's great. Thank you, Benjamin. You can relax again. So now the next part of the, the examination is your sensation. So I'm going to be touching different uh, objects off different parts of your body. Yeah. And I want you to say yes when you can feel them, okay? So first of all, I'm going to test uh, your finger sensation. So I'm going to get you to feel this and I want you to tell me how it feels, okay? Is that a bit sharp? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to do that in different parts of your arms and I want you to say yes when you feel it, okay? All right. Yeah. 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 Now uh, you can relax again, open your eyes. And now the next thing I'm going to do is a soft touch, so it's just going to be soft, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So now I want you to close your eyes for me, Benjamin. I can feel that. Yeah. The vibration and not the coldness. Uh, yeah, it's so, off. Tell me when it stops. Oh, yeah, it stops. So I'm going to do those things uh, on your fingers this time, okay? Can you feel this? Yeah. And tell me when it stops. Okay. Oh, it stops. And then you want you to feel it? Oh, yeah, feel it. Oh, it stops. Great. Thank you very much. Rest your hands on this pillow for me. So Benjamin, now I'm just going to show you uh, how, uh, a few movements of your thumb. So mm -hmm. if you just have a look for me there, I'm going to move your thumb in different directions and I'm, and I'm going to ask you in a while to tell me whether it's up or down. Right. So this is up. Okay. That's that. Okay. okay, so now close your eyes and I'll show you again. That's up. And that's up. Okay. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to ask you now a few questions. Uh, down. Yeah. Up. Up. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I want you to open that again and I'll show you. That's up. Yep. That's down. Yep. And now close your eyes. That's up. And that's up. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to try that. Down. Down. Up. That's fine. Thank you very much. Okay, so now Benjamin, this is the last part of the examination. It's just going to be me testing you. Is that okay? Sure. Great, thank you very much. Now I just want you to keep your uh, arms like this and stay relaxed for me. Right. Uh, so just for, I'm going to test your break your reality reflex first. So if you could uh, clench your fist for me, please. This fist for me.
So Ben's uh, request is very long. And I think if you have any questions or concerns, you can ask. All right, thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. Today I saw Ben, a 23 year old male. He came in for an upper limb neurological examination. My examination revealed no peripheral stigmata or clinical manifestation of upper limb neurological uh, pathology. Um, to complete the examination, I performed a cranial nerve examination and 